Um, thank you all for coming to the meeting today. Um, this meeting is to enable us to find out what the challenges are in the park home industry today. So our company understands better what the values are of park home living and what the benefits are to the resident and affordable housing. And are we the solution to affordable housing? Not social housing, affordable housing. Genuine affordable housing. But I'll go one step further and say, are we the solution of quality affordable housing that stays affordable housing? So, Wildcrest Parks, is 18 years old. It is the UK's largest residential mobile home park operator with 13,000 residents, as we all know, with 75 parks across the country. Now we deal with different councils day in and day out. And we deal with many residents. And our procedural rate that we work out being ISO 9001, we are constantly updating and implementing our systems for the benefit of the company and also for our residents. Now our policy is to provide the best quality, affordable housing for people to live a better life. So, affordable housing paradox. What does that mean? Wildcrest Parks believes we have the answer, and we do, because it's proven. The average price of a bricks and mortar house in the UK, nationwide, is an average of £230,776. Household disposable income in the UK was £28,400 in the financial year ending 2018. For those in full-time work, the average UK salary across the board is £35,423. The average rent for a two-bedroom private rented house in London is £1,730 compared to £820 across the UK. In the UK, people are renting for longer periods of time as buying a property has become more expensive and wages are struggling to keep up. The average adult will spend more than this before they finally get onto the property ladder. Spending a total of £63,225 in rent during that time. This means they'll have already spent the equivalent of more than a quarter of the average £229,000 UK home in rent. The average price of a park home is £112,000. So the average price of a park home is £112,000. That's 50% less or more. So if that's not quality, affordable housing, what is? What if instead you could buy a two bed, two bathroom, modern bungalow with a modular kitchen and integrated appliances for £112,000. Well, you can. It comes in the guise of a park home. The average price of a park home is £112,000 compared to that of a house, which is £230,000. It's shocking to realise this property that looks, feels, and acts exactly 
as a bricks and mortar home is half price. The British housing nightmare. Quality housing is a basic human right. It directly impacts health, education and social well-being, especially as people age. And as we all know, we are living in a nation that is ageing longer and people are living longer. There can never be a choice for a person between food, electric bills and having a roof over their head and having a good quality of life. The UK is knee deep in a housing crisis and many of us know that the number of homeless people in the UK is increasing. More than 300,000 people in Britain, equivalent to one in every 200, are officially recorded as homeless or living in inadequate homes. According to figures released by the charity shelter. Council bosses across the UK have said that with private rents continuing to rise, sharp falls in affordability over the last three years are causing homelessness, child neglect, as families cut back on essentials, including food, to make up rent shortfalls. Three million new social homes must be built in England alone over 20 years to solve the housing crisis. And they will be properties like this. Flats in tower blocks, which for people. A survey by Santander found 70% of 18 to 34 year olds who now believe that home ownership is over for their generation. How sad is that? An Englishman's home is supposed to be his castle. Our housing system has been allowed to degenerate to such an extent that secure, affordable housing is increasingly unavailable to working class and many middle class people too. There are towns where people, well, sorry, there are towns where properties typically cost 12 times that of the local salaries. But it's not for the lack of ideas that this has happened. What is lacking is the political will to acknowledge that there is a viable solution staring them in the face and they refuse to see the obvious. Because this is a tried and tested method of supplying affordable homes in the guise of park homes for a quality home. The answer to this conundrum of affordable quality housing is park homes. It's that obvious. The name mobile home is a misnomer. These homes are actually prefabricated in the factory and then transported to site. All park homes confirm to British Standard 3632 and are built for fully residential occupation. Park homes are the only genuine affordable housing option which exists in our country. Why? Because they continue to be affordable. Park homes actually cost 50% less or more than a like-for-like -like conventional bricks and mortar house in the same location. So why have park homes not been embraced and supported much, much more? It is because, is it because, is it because of the humble beginnings of the park home, which originated as a caravan, then became a static home, 
then a mobile home, and then a park home phone call. Is that a stigma that still lingers? Or is it more than that? Is it because the government's anti-park home stance, because they do not earn any stamp duty, or they receive only council ban tax A, which is the lowest band as we all know. So for them, it's not profitable enough. That's a question I put out there. And I leave that question to be answered. By the park home, enables the resident to achieve equality with economy and delivers more value for their money. They pay the lowest council band tax A. They are 12 months fully residential with their own postal address. Please don't mistake them for holiday. Residential parks are way different than holiday parks. You save on electricity because they are new builds and also have a bungalow style layout which is more energy efficient. But furthermore, electricity is billed approximately 25% less per kilowatt. States boast of very strong communities which provide a significant social capital and well-being for the resident. Of course you get a bad apple on parks. They always seem to have the loudest voice because an empty barrel is always more noisier and they'd never be happy no matter where they are. But 99.8% of the residents that we carry, these are just some of the letters that we've received. Oh, I'll read just one. We love the convenience of managing a park home as well as how cosy our park is. There is a lot of potential to make great friendship. It basically depends on how social you are. My wife has recently moved to a full-term care facility and it is a tough time. But I have a strong network of neighbours and friends which keep me going. Mr. Leslie Knowles, resident of Redhill Park. I won't go on because we have hundreds of these. To conclude, why are councils not looking at park homes as effective, affordable options for a growing number of people who would like to live in a modern, manageable home and enjoy the perks of being part of a healthy community. Park homes enable people to achieve quality with economy, without succumbing to size, being smaller, or not having good quality. I don't think there is any reason why people shouldn't be able to do that. And because manufactured housing is so cost effective, it frees up people's capital from their home that they're downsizing, giving them a more of an enjoyable life to enjoy their hard earned money. As opposed to being stuck with a house that they've worked all their life for but they're actually struggling to maintain it. And this is where we are a part of the major change, because by people moving into affordable park homes, it also frees up further housing stock as well. Let's discuss this, because I'm sure there's many burning questions, but I'm also, I would assume it's quite shocking, to realise what we do here at Wild Press Parks. We are making a difference and we are changing people's lives for the better.